if you can hear that, that chirping sound, that tick, 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 that's the sound of a robin in defense mode or alert mode, warning off, well in this case me, that I'm getting too close to what is their nest because I was laying just down there with the cat and I noticed on the back fence there was a robin sitting there chirping away and I remembered that I in this hedge have placed two homemade robin's nests now I'm going to do this very briefly because I don't want to scare and you won't scare the robin away they're too maternal paternal to to do it permanently actually I don't know if you can see he's on that log pile just there or she is rather I think that's the female we go up there first yeah she's now in the hedge here so I'll make it very quick because I don't want to scare scare her away or scare the chicks for that matter but it's important that I show you just down in there I don't know if you can see it there's a a nest box and I when I was with the cat I thought I wonder if there's there's never been a chick in there or a nest in there I thought, I wonder if I've been lucky enough to get a nest right next to the tree bumblebee nest. And lo and behold, yes, in fact, the, the mum is right here somewhere. I can hear her. So I'm going to make this very brief. I'm going to turn the light on a second. Let's just go and just pop you in front of the nest and then that's it just so that you can briefly see what's going on in there and then we'll move away can you just see the chick sitting there I think you can just see its beak just sitting there hunched down is a little chick I'm not sure how many are in there story this year I'm so pleased and that will do now because I don't want to scare the mum so what I'll do now is I'm going to set the uh, camera up once I've ID'd this bee that's a uh, carder bee beautiful I took a marvellous shot of a carder bee last week which I used as a tile for last week's video and any eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that it was perfectly timed. There was an ant on the other side of the flower, just poking his head out. I'll, I'll pop it in now so you can have a look. So what I'm going to do now, just to assure all of you that are watching, that I haven't disturbed those birds and their, their instinct, they will always go back. I mean, obviously don't ever put your hand in the nest or, or interfere with it in any way. It's important that I do these videos because I want to promote wildlife, but I'm very careful not to disturb them. And I, I did time that visit just then with the uh, robin leaving the nest. But I'm going to now cut to a video. I'm going to set the camera up and assure you that he goes back, or I think it is a he that I saw before. Um, assuming that the red breast is on the male, I can't remember. I'll pop it in the bottom now. But uh, I'll drop that video in so you can make sure that they are coming back. But yeah, so that, that nest box has been around for about seven years. I've moved it all over the garden and finally we've had some success. While I'm at it, let's check the other one. 
I don't think this robins are very territorial so I'm almost certain this one isn't being used the one further down but got so so much growth in here this year I can't I don't even know where it is it's somewhere in here the fact that, that no one's chirping is a sign that's probably not in use oh there it is down there yeah that one's completely empty but the other one it's got a robin in it so it's all right to share that with you the tree bumblebees are going strong still they're still in there earlier on I tried to get the camera but there was a a queen with a male on her back uh, just near this nest so we've reached that stage now where the queens are, are leaving and mating which is cool but anyway thank you for that thanks for watching and we'll catch up soon